People with Alzheimer's are counting on us. And we are aware of them every day when we come in to do our work of research and therapeutic development. I completed my doctoral degree here at the University of Arizona and went on to Rockefeller University. And it was there that my career path was transformed. And it was transformed by one woman with Alzheimer's disease. I would spend many hours with her and with her describing her professional work as a Adlerian psychologist. And we would walk along the long esplanade of the Rockefeller campus. And one evening, I took her back to her room at the Rockefeller Hospital. I bid her good night and closed the door. And I waited 30 seconds. I knocked on the door and entered and asked, Dr. Ansbacher, do you remember me? And her reply, she was so kind, she said, I'm so sorry, should I? I had to know why she could remember so much part of her life and not remember me for 30 seconds. And what she taught me is that it wasn't that she didn't remember me, she never encoded me. And that was an epiphany of understanding of how the disease actually begins. In the 21st century, there's not a single cure for a single neurodegenerative disease. And our mission is to bring those innovations in brain science of the future for those who need a cure today. There were multiple moments that gratefully indicated that I and my research team were on the right path. The first of those was a discovery that I made in my laboratory that the molecule that we now are in phase two clinical trial, allopregnetolone or allo for short, could actually regenerate nerve cells. And I still remember that amazing discovery and the feeling of looking through the microscope and seeing more nerve cells than there were the evening before. My grand hope is to develop those cures for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and multiple sclerosis and ALS. That's something that no one else has done. Right? But we're at the University of Arizona. We're bold. We're used to doing what no one else has done. <laughs>